Am I, am I live? Hello? Hello? Is this working? I forget how to do this. Oh yeah! Well hello again, Pokey people! Lovely to see you! Um, don't mind the chaos in the background, this is supposed to be casual, just hanging out, chatting kind of a deal. Um, it's my birthday today! I'm 39 years old! That's a lot of years, and I felt like with 40 looming on the not so distant horizon, it might be an idea to do some kind of like a countdown to turning 40 kind of a thing, which, as I'm saying it out loud, sounds kind of ridiculous, but just stick with me here. You also might hear occasional wows from the peanut gallery, which we'll get to. Um, so first, I want to do kind of an update on how things have been going and what I've been doing, you know, that kind of stuff. So as you know, with it being the 26th of November, I not only is my birthday, but I've been living in Wakayama for exactly two years now. I moved in on my birthday two years ago to this funky, weird little house that I'm quite settled into now, as you can tell by some of the, the mess behind me. Oh, hey, Willow's here. Hi. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I really thought that it would give me kind of like a jump start in a way to take a promotion at my company, become a supervisor, change locations, move to a new city. I also thought going somewhere where there is less corona would be helpful for me, reduce some stress. And as always, it has been really good. I do feel like I've had some growth as a person. Um, I've picked up some new skills. However, um, work has just been getting increasingly increasingly hectic and stressful lately and it's been really pulling me down like I really thought I could make because now I'm a supervisor I have to make my own schedule I thought I could make a semi-regular schedule and if I can't make the time to film videos at least I can stream semi-regularly um but that just hasn't been the case because uh my mental and emotional well-being has not been the best and when I have my free time I need to rest I was talking to a therapist for a little while, which was really, really helpful. However, I was using betterhelp.com, which as you know, is an American service, which means you gotta pay in American dollars. And I think people are aware of this, but if you're not, the Japanese yen has tanked. Um, so I went from paying what I felt was a reasonable amount to nearly double that because of the exchange rate. Even with betterhelp.com giving me the maximum discounts and financial aid that they could, um, I couldn't really justify paying it anymore. Um, and that's been really frustrating because it was nice talking with someone and kind of working through some of the stuff that I need to work through and feeling like I was growing, but also getting validation from the therapist. Like, it doesn't matter how old you are, it's really nice to have someone tell you, you're doing good. I'm proud of you. That was a big step for you. Like, it it really means something to feel that. Like, to hear that and to feel it. And it's hard for me to give myself that credit, and I really miss having the therapist to do that. Um, so that's, yeah, mental and emotional health, not the best. Physical health, oddly, doing okay, which is surprising. I have some things I am very concerned about, but, um, you know, lo lots of lumps going on so that's that's uh the doctor says looks okay but really wants to do a biopsy and i don't want to think about that so we're not going to talk about the risk just put that over there in other news besides work and health mental emotional physical that kind of stuff i adopted a cat <laughs> um i kind of i don't know it just felt like the right time i felt like i was sick and tired of investing time and energy and feelings into people and getting zero return on it. Um, and I felt like part of why I was kind of flailing around, maybe looking for relationships sometimes, was because I wanted to care for someone. Um, so I adopted a cat. Does the cat love me back? Probably not. I mean, we all know how cats are. Uh, but Nuga is maybe about... I keep looking this way. He's not over here right at the moment, but he, he might appear again. Um, he's about two or three years old. I adopted him from a cat cafe in Osaka called Save Cat Cafe. I'll put a link to their YouTube down below. Um, really, really wonderful place. Anyone can visit the cafe, obviously. They have good food, too. Um, but all the cats at the cafe, or most of the cats at the cafe, I should say, are up for adoption. 
And so I adopted little Nuga, Nuga-kun. Uh, Nuga would be nougat, just Japanese pronunciation, uh, from them. And yeah, actually, he just recently started letting me pet him. And I was all set to sit down and start filming this. And he came to the door and started yowling at me and demanded affection. And I actually was able to pet him for like a good five minutes or so when he was purring up a storm. And just like, it really, really meant a lot. My crazy cat lady status is just boom, through the roof lately. Um, but no, seriously, like it's been so fulfilling, so, I don't know, special to see this little cat who only wanted to hide when I first got him here um, blossom to where he's walking around the house yowling at me when he wants things and he's seeking out affection and purring. Um, I might try and stick some like little clips of him at the end of this so that you guys can see how cute he is because he is adorable and handsome and is bringing me so much joy to my life. Um, and I mean, in terms of the mental and emotional well-being, it's helping a lot. Um, I definitely am taking a lot better care of cleaning the house than I was before because I don't want him to choke on anything. I don't want him to chew on things he shouldn't. Um, I gotta get up, make sure he gets his playtime in, make sure he eats, make sure he gets water, make sure I scoop his toilet, all these different things that you need to do to take care of him. And in order to take care of him, I have to take care of myself. So that's helping a lot. Um, still a work in progress, obviously. Crazy brains. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what's been going on and where I'm at. I still play Pokemon Go like a maniac every day. Uh, you'll sometimes catch me on Twitch streaming um, either Switch games, like Pokemon Switch games. I pretty much only play Pokemon games. Or sometimes I might be streaming some Pogo stuff, but it's really hard to, like, do events um, and stream at the same time because I'm still working as, like, a volunteer through the Silph Road. Um, I organize a lot of meetups in Osaka mostly these days. I do have another person helping me now, which is fantastic. But it, it is a lot. Usually, you know, there's one or two of us there and we've got to gather the people, get them checked in so they get their Silph Road badges. I'm always giving things away like pins. I get codes for in-game items to give them. Sometimes I have other stuff to give them. It's a lot. I need to interact with the people and I can't really stream and do that at the same time as much as I really, really want to. I'd also love to record and make Pogo videos, but I just don't see how I could play an event and record at the same time and not be frustrated not playing enough because I'm a bit of an addict. As far as Pokemon card collecting goes, I have taken a break from it. I have a whole bunch of unopened boxes of stuff. It's a little scary and I've been selling off some of the excess from my collection, um, which is part of how I was able to afford adopting Nuga. And if you've seen over the last couple of years, you saw I probably got some pretty cool new tattoos. Um, so I've spent some Pokemon cards on that. <laughs> I mean, it's essentially what they are at this point. Um, I do still want to collect cards of the characters or cards by the artists I really like, um, but I need to organize my collection. That's one of the things I plan to do over winter vacation. Really get it organized, figure out what to let go of, what to keep, and then make a big push to like push the stuff out that I do not need. And then I can work on acquiring the things that I really want to need. But I do keep um, entering the lotteries whenever a new set comes out. <laughs> So I keep getting the odd box that just gets put in my closet and like, mm, I'll have to do something with that. I still have a lucky box from the new year. Like, a massive big box from the Pokemon Center that I haven't opened. Not not cards. There could be anything in it. I don't know. There could be plushies in it, other merch. I still haven't opened it. Um, Video or stream for that? I don't know. So basically, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm kind of rambling. I want to update people on where I am and how things are going, but also kind of like try something new. Um, since I am counting down the days till I turn 40 now, I thought, why not try and do some kind of a weekly vlog, if that's too much, maybe monthly, just to be like, hey, here's where I am, here's where I'm going, here's how I'm doing. Um, will it be Pokemon related sometimes? I have a lot of half-done artsy crafty activities that I think I could show and be like, hey, this is how I'm working on things. I'm trying my best to sneak more reading in, which could be really helpful. And I don't know if you can tell I'm a little under the weather, so like why I'm breathing so hard with this. <gasps> um, trying to improve on my health as well. So I thought it could be something I can do because I want to 
don't know. I don't usually make a fuss about birthdays or these big special occasions. To be completely honest, um, I feel like my birthday has always kind of sucked. Like, as a kid, I got some pretty epic birthday parties. I don't know why, um, but I remember some pretty cool things, like a Land Before Time themed birthday party at Pizza Hut. <laughs> but, I don't know, all those big, like, landmark birthdays, benchmark, whatever, you know what I mean. 13 years old, nothing. Sweet 16, pfft nothing happened. Turning 18, you know, that's when your friends are supposed to take you to the strip club and get your first lap dance. Nope, didn't happen. 19, your friends are supposed to take you out, get you drunk for the first time. Bleh. 21, Bleh. like nothing, nothing. Nobody ever cared to do anything for me. 25, you you're a quarter century old. Did anybody care? No. Turn 30, nope, nobody cared. Um, yeah. My birthdays have not been particularly exciting or interesting, which is part of why I'm like, eh, who cares, it's another day. But 40 is kind of monumental. I don't want to put that much weight on it, but you know what I mean. Like, everyone kind of sees 40 and 50 and goes, oh, and then after 50, everything's like, wow, you survived, yay, you're still here. Um, so I wanted to do something to be like, hey, 40's coming up. Um, let's try and show some progress or some growth or something throughout the year. And I'm hoping making some little videos like this is one way I can do that. And as I try to think of things to show you guys in videos, maybe we'll have a bit of growth along the way. Um, that's really all, all this is about. I just wanted to check in and say hello, let you all know I'm, I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm still ticking, I'm still loving Pokemon. I don't know if you can tell this backpack is Pikachu. <laughs> it was the first thing I had beside me I could grab. I could grab Wooloo, couldn't I? You can probably see Eevee up there in the background and Sprigatito over there. There, there he is. Sprigatito. He's sitting on top of the Meowth with a Nyabi beside him. Um, yeah. That's really all I got to say. Oh! It's my birthday. It's also Poketage's birthday. So go say hello and wish him a happy birthday. He's my birthday twin absolutely awesome person and if you are missing Pokemon card content from me I highly recommend Taj um really really awesome nice guy I have a lot of really awesome nice friends I met through Pokemon which I think is part of why it breaks my heart so much that like I can't really keep up with the collecting and making videos anymore because that's a way that I really connected with people and I feel like I've lost that now I was trying to wrap this up and then I got into something didn't I oops anyways if you're out there watching, thank you, love you and appreciate you. Um, if you want to keep up with me besides when I occasionally put things on YouTube, um, you can always find me on Instagram or I sometimes stream on Twitch. Those are the best places to find me right now. Um, but I will do my best to try and plop some little update videos like this or some vlogs or something. Something on YouTube. Like I said, I want to show some growth and some progress over the next year and this is the way I think I can document that for myself and I hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. So thank you very much for the subscribers who've hung around all this time and put up with my long, 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 long absences. I love and appreciate you Poke people and I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye-bye.